Welcome to our reflection on our week of exciting project-based learning in the secondary school. In this video, you're going to hear from our staff and our students about the experiences they've had this week. You're going to get to see them in action from a wide variety of environments. And I hope you enjoy this video as much as we have enjoyed this week. This week has been a really wonderful experience for the Year 7s because they've had to plan the entire project, which meant them working together as a team, coming up with designs for the activity for our forest school. And it also meant them overcoming a series of problems that come with putting a plan into practical application. Once they'd done that, they had to come to the location here and then they had to actually put their design into reality and then welcome the children when they came. With my friends, we made this little path. It's like a sensory path for the children. There's some fun activities, like they can balance on a rock. And these are materials that are all from the forest. They've all done a really, really wonderful job. And I think that they have probably found strengths that they didn't know they had. They've overcome weaknesses that they didn't think they could overcome and they actually put together a wonderful programme for some fantastic children. And it was great working with them. I personally really enjoyed it. So far, the engagement of the students has been phenomenal. They have been in discussions with the kitchen to find out about the budgetary and statutory requirements of school food. They have engaged with a member of the local NGO, Free Food, which aims to reduce food waste. We have been brainstorming ideas to increase the uptake of the food currently on offer, as well as creating a meal within current guidelines that we believe will be a lunchtime hit with the students. The whole experience has been educational, fun, and very exciting. I feel like we did really well. Um, I think with our ideas, uh, if Ms. Martina and the kitchen, if they use them, it could really help the environment and also uh, the children in our school to feel better about how much waste we produce. Year 9 is about the opportunity to study and research travelling to Mars and what it will mean to be living on Mars. These are issues that will affect them directly as in the future that will be happening. Students are focused on those transferable skills in analysing, debating, public speaking, researching and essentially they've been able to put all those together in a real life situation. This week we are having a project about colonization of Mars and the whole, like, this idea of space travel. For English, where we were doing the debating, we've had a couple lessons to prepare. Then we did art, we did a trash and show. That was really fun, making clothing out of plastic. Project-based learning is a little bit more free. Um, you can basically express more of yourself. The main difference is that in Project Week, you more so apply all of the skills that you learn during normal school, such as debating. Then you can get a result in which you more so prepare yourself for your future rather than if you were just normally learning in school. Our U10 group did a simulation of the Model United Nations where all students were assigned different countries. For example, I was America. Over the last couple of days, we've been debating um, nuclear disarmament. Some students have represented North Korea. Some students have represented countries that are against nuclear weapons like, like Thailand, for example. The thing that I love about Model United Nations is that it not only creates um, empathy and understanding, but it also gets students to kind of think outside the box and they have to represent countries that don't really match their own opinion. And it's absolutely amazing to see kind of the, the level of debate between students um, and students getting really really into trying to solve this problem of nuclear weapons in the world. I personally learned a lot about how to find detailed research and how to write detailed research. I also learned how to write position papers, how to talk in a debate, how to talk as a delegate. We have come to the end of the secondary PBL week and it has been an incredibly busy and productive week in the secondary school. And I'm really looking forward to us bringing it together next year and making this part of our, our daily life here at CIS.